Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad to have you here. For those of you joining us for the first time, my name is Stella Lukaife. You are welcome to sew. You learn, you get to learn how to cut and sew at the comfort of your home. So if you are here to subscribe, click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload so for today's tutorial we'll be learning how to make a simple a-line dress and for this tutorial i'll be using this fabric this is actually three yards of it three yards of uh ankara fabric and also i'm going to um use um use a brighter satin dull fit because this three yards will not be enough for the client she's actually on the big side so i'm going to add um this to the sleeve to the sleeve that's the bridal um the bridal satin the doll face you know we have different types of bridal satin there is the doll face and there is a shine face so this is the doll face and then this is the lining the a line gown will actually have a lining so this is the lining i'll be using for it it's not compulsory that you can add a lining to it if you feel like adding a lining to the um ankara fabric you can you can add but if you don't feel like you can go go ahead and make it like that so let's move over to the table like i said earlier this is the fabric that we're using to make the tutorial i want to cut out the um length of the fabric i know the, the length of the gun i'm making is actually 52 inches but i will need extra two inch that's um half inch that i'll be add that i will use to add the um shoulder that's the front shoulder to the back shoulder and also one and a half inch for the hemming so uh, that is i'll be needing a total of 54 inches the length 54 inches and if you if you check three yards is equivalent to 108 inches and 54 inch times two is 108 so it's just to go ahead and you know divide the wrapper into two like this the length is 54 if 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 we check it's 54 as you can see i hope you can see it it's 54 so I'll just go ahead and you know cut it but please when working try and work with your own measurement or with your client's measurement please See, I have fold the clothes. This is for the back panel, and this is for the front panel. You can see the way I folded it: front panel and this back panel. Then this line I marked here is one and a half inch. That's for the zip allowance. The gun is actually going to have a zip at the back, so this is one and a half inch for the zip allowance. And I place the front panel up where I marked this line, where I marked this line. But I think um okay what i'll do is just for some people not to be confused i will take out this back panel and mark on the front panel after that i will bring back the back panel and then place the front panel and cut i think to make it easier for some people especially the beginners to understand so that's what i will do this is the back panel so i will keep it aside i will keep it aside because if I go ahead and, and cut them together, some people might be confused. So let me mark on the front panel. So this is the front panel. This is the front panel. So let me go ahead and mark. So as you can see, this is the front panel. I've taken out the back panel. So and I've gone ahead to draw a border line so the next thing to do is to take the horizontal lines by the horizontal lines i mean the bust line hip line and then the rest of it from the shoulder to the hip uh, from, sh from the shoulder to the bust is 9.5 9.5 
I'll go ahead and connect it to a straight line. Make sure that your lines are straight. It's very, very important. I'm trying to make the line bold so that you can see it clear. So from the shoulder to the to the waist, it's 19. Actually, what I use is um, her tummy. She has a big tummy. So that's what I'm using. I'm using her tummy, which is 19. We can also say, say it's waist. It's still 70, 19. So that's what I'm going to mark. Then from her shoulder to her hip, it's 26. And see it clearly so this is the bust line this is the waistline and this is the hip line then I'll come over to the neck like always the standard tree before we'll take our shoulder slope tree I'll mark out tree I'll mark tree then her shoulder is um 15 that's 15 if divided by 2 since our fabric is on fold 7.5 plus half inch um, seam allowance that's 8 8 so I'll come down by 1 inch to take my shoulder slope and I'm going to connect it to here where I marked out the 3 inch which is standard please if you have any question let me know on the comment section and if you are yet to join our Facebook group, please do not forget to join on Facebook. Search for Sew with Stella and then join the Facebook group for more. So to get the armhole line, that's where the um, armhole will be covering. I'm going to divide her bust by 6 plus 1.5. Her bust is 41. 41 divided by 6 is 6.8. 6.8 plus 1.5 is um, 8.3. 8.2 so I will just make it 8 8 should be ok for her take note that I am not starting here on this border line I am starting on my, on the shoulder slant where I have my shoulder slant so I am going to take mark 8 8 So the next is to I'm going to connect um, this here to here. I'm going to come down and mark. Take the midpoint of this, which this is eight, and the the a midpoint of eight divided by two. That's the midpoint. It's four. Four. Then you come in by, that's for the front arm hole, you come in by 3 fourths, that's 0 0.75, which is here. So to know how we'll be connecting this to this, where the curve is going to stop, I'm going to take her bust measurement. Her bust measurement is 41, and 41 divided by 4, it's 10.25. This is 10.25. I'm going to add 0 0.25 for ease allowance, which is which will now be a total of 10.5.
10.5 you see it's to use the ruler to connect this line from here to here where i came in by three three fourths then after that i'm going to use the angle curve and then connect from this point to this point So this is for the front arm rule. For the back arm rule, I'll just, I'm going to use this point. I'm not going to come in. I'm going to use that as the actual midpoint. Then connect from here to here also. So basically, this is the front arm hole and this is the back arm hole. Then for the um, waist, her waist is 42. 42 divided by, for its 10.5. You can see uh, her waist is bigger than her bust. When I say waist, when tummy, it's, it's actually tummy. Tummy waist, they are still the same thing, Sha. 10.5. So I'm having 10.5. Then her hip, her hip is 47. 47 divided by 4, it's 11.75. 11.75. Which is here. 11.75. So I'll go ahead and connect. I want to connect before I, you know, draw the fabric to show you how I'm going to do the down part. Let me use my hip curl. Then the seam allowance, I'm going to add half inch seam allowance. Sorry, not half inch, one and a half inch. One and a half inch. One and a half inch seam allowance. Then for the down part, I'm going to, you know, shift the fabric. Then for the down part, what I have on the hip line, I'm going to add, um, let's say, extra 8 inch. I'm actually trying to manage the fabric. It's not that much. So, but for yours, you can go ahead and add... Um, be it 10, 9, or as, as it, it all depends on how you want it. But for those tutorials, I'm going to add um, whatever I have on the hip. I'm going to add extra 8 inch. So what we have here was 11.75. Uh, 11 That's 11 3 fourth. And 11 3 fourth. Okay, let's just say um, it, 11 3 fourth. Let's just say it's 12. I'm 12 plus 8, it's 20. So I'm going to add 20. 20 inch. Let me shift it up. So I'll be marking 20 inch, I mean to say. 20 inch. 20. Remember I said, whatever I have on the hip, I added extra 
eight. And what I have on the hip is 11.75. So I round it off to 12. 12 plus 8 inch is 20, which is what I have here. 20 inch. 20 inch. Then plus one and a half inch for the seam allowance. So I use a ruler to, you know, make it straight to connect it here. I hope you can see the line. Then one other thing, remember that we say we are going to use um one and a half inch that for the hemming allowance. So let me mark that. So this will be folded. This is for the hemming allowance. I don't want it to have, I don't want the edge to have that. Um, I don't want it to be, you know, just straight. I want it to have a slant look. So what I'll do is to come up by, you can come up by one and a half or, or one inch. I'm going to use one and a half. I'm going to come up by one and a half. Next, I'll be using for the front. I'm going to use uh, a depth of five, and the wideness will be four point five. Remember that we have with um, three here. Then the remaining one point five, I'm going to take it from this lens, which is here. This is the front neckline. And then for the back neckline, the wideness will be same with that of the front. Then the depth, I'm going to make it, uh, let me make it, I'll make it three. Let me make it three. And then I'll connect it to there. So this is for the back and this is for the front. That's that. And then before I go ahead and cut, I'm going to add the half inch that's for the shoulder. What I'll use to connect the front shoulder up to the back, that's the front panel to the back panel. So I'm going to add half a uh, half inch. And that's that so what I did was to mark for both the front and the back so what I'll do is I'm going to keep this front panel one side then bring back the the back panel that I kept earlier if you can remember I'm going to spray spread it Then place the front panel.
take note that I'm placing it where I have this line. That's where I mark the for the zip allowance. It's not starting here because of the zip allowance. It's starting here, where I, where I have this line. Take note. You can see it. So I'll go ahead and cut. And take note that when cutting, you have to cut for the back panel first. After cutting thin that of the back panel, then you take away the back panel and then cut the front panel. So let me go, let me cut. You see, this is the back neck. This is the back angle, so that's what I'll cut first. I'm done with the back. I'm done with the back. So this is the back. But before I drop the back, I'll just go ahead and cut this side, the opening. That's the zip allowance. I'm going to So this is the back panel. So what I'll do is to open up the the side of the zip allowance. Done with the back panel. So for the front panel, I'm going to bring it back and then adjust that and then cut out the neckline and the armhole. You see it. So we are done. This is the front panel and this is the back panel. Let me open it up for you to see the way it looks. You can see it. This is the front and then this is the back. So that's that. I hope you learned something from, from this tutorial. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And if you're yet to subscribe, please do not forget to click on the subscribe button and also hit on the notification bell for you to be notified each time I make a new upload. So to like come your way with another interesting tutorial. Do have a lovely, lovely day. Bye bye. This is the front. I'm so sorry I could not show you how I joined it. I actually had to make the clothes in a hurry. 
so this is the front panel this is the front side of the clothes this is the back side of the cloth you can see the zip it's almost as if there is no zip there but there's actually a zip there let me take it close you can see the way i fix the zip so that's it so i come your way with another interesting tutorial do have a nice day bye bye